Hello and welcome back. My name's Francois. This is Cotswold Trail Runner. And today is a momentous day. Not only because I'm actually recording a video for you guys, but maybe slightly more important and probably seen on the news is the coronation of King Charles. So I've just managed to watch the ceremony with uh, the family and as he makes his way to the balcony of Buckingham Palace I thought I'd nip out in between rain showers and uh, get a trail run done. My first since last week's East Devon Round Race. I've got to say I'm pretty happy with how I've recovered. Hope you're well and hope your running's going well as well. So let's get on with it. So as we go up some more stairs, but this time on the Cotswold Way, I thought I'd reflect on last week's race. And on the whole, I think it went quite well. Um, I definitely fueled well. I used active root ginger as my hydration, uh, made some sandwiches, took some malt loaf and took some watermelon from the aid stations. I had ginger beer, which on the day felt great for me, so I had some of that. And it wasn't until the last 20 miles, okay, that's being hard on myself. Let's go with the last 15 miles where I really start to feel it in my legs. And uh, as usual, I stopped eating and drinking. Uh, so I struggled a little bit. Luckily though, with about 10 miles to go, there was a great group of three runners that caught me up, Alistair, Ed and Darren and uh, they kept me going. I was going to let them go and just crack on at my own pace but they did persuade me to stick with them and it made a huge difference. They really dragged me through so thank you to you guys for that. Another great plus taken away from the race was uh, the poles. It's my first time using them in a race and I really enjoyed using them. I had no issues getting, taking them out, putting them away, and I found that I was using them not only to hike up the really steep hills, but also on uh, vaguely inclining terrain in the latter stages. You know, when you think, oh, I might as well walk this, but with poles, I found that I could get the energy and the motivation and the forward momentum to run slightly faster with the pulse, so that was a good thing. I used um, the Salomon uh, waistband to store them at the back of my waist and that, that worked really well. The only downside is after the race, I realized they'd obviously been rubbing on my lower back, so got some blisters and marks there, but we'll see what we do, maybe I just where I position them in the future, but on the whole, happy with how the poles are working and I'll continue to train with them as we move towards the Lakeland 100. Now, the only other downside to the race was um, my GoPro. So my camera is actually a GoPro Hero 7 and uh, I've been finding over the last couple of races and long runs that the battery really just plays up. It'll be fully charged suddenly drop it to like two three percent uh, then it'll jump up to 23 uh, percent it's just all over the place and it did this last weekend so i'm trying to look for a replacement battery but it appears that the hero 7 is not as uh, new as i thought it was anymore they're up to hero 11 now so uh i need to catch up i don't think they really sell the battery anymore so i'm gonna have to find a solution so if anyone knows of a better camera i can get at a reasonable price let me know But hopefully, in the race video, which is coming out in a few days, I've uh, disguised the fact that the battery kept cutting out. You be the judge. So that's all for now. Just a quick update for you guys on how I've recovered this week, what's coming up next week. 
in terms of the race video and then after that the focus shifts to the Lakeland 100 and the Cotswold Way Century. Looking forward to both of those, they're going to be epic in their own right. Hope you've had a good day, see you in the next one. Take care. Yes.